The famous Dr. Ludwig Kraft historical site has a rich history in Kenya as it was the first church and school to be built in Eastern Central Africa. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. While visiting the site, the German ambassador to Kenya, who visited the site, explained their involvement in the project and why the German government has taken interest in refurbishing the site. Last year was the 500th anniversary of Martin Luther's thesis, which he posted in Wittenberg in, in Germany, as well as the 50th birthday of the German Evangelical Church in Kenya, which is in Nairobi. Accompanying her was Heritage Principal Secretary Josepheta Mokobe, who said that Kenya has a wealth of historical heritage sites and monuments, such as the one in Rabai, that should not be neglected and allowed to fall into ruin. The restoration of this site, including the historical memorial cemetery of the missionaries who endured a lot of challenges in their travels to bring Christianity to East Africa is just but a small part of the many other religious heritage sites which need restoration, conservation, not only here in the coast but all over the country. National Museum of Kenya Director General Dr. Mzalendo Kibunjia reiterated that they are working with county governments in the preservation of cultural and historical sites and monuments domiciled in their localities. And the idea of us as a National Museum of Kenya to develop these sites is to make sure that, uh, is, is to make sure there is something else to do other than basking in the in the beach. The National Museums of Kenya has equally provided two million shillings for research work and collection of exhibits for the revamped museum. Reporting for Channel One News Weekend from Mombasa County, I am Anboru.